there's a quantity surveyor, there's one tool that you'll be using a lot, and I really do mean a lot. As you can guess by the title, it is of course, Microsoft Excel. As you'll be spending most of your time in this piece of software, it makes sense that you understand how to use it to its maximum. But before we get into making your lives so much easier, liking this video and subscribing to our channel really does help us. Also, we now have a rather vibrant and information packed Telegram channel. Here, you'll find like minded individuals that ask questions, help one another, and enjoy a good chat. Okay, into the video. Control E, also known as Flashfill. This comes in very handy for your cost report when manipulating data. For example, when you want to split out the material name from its size, such as a Diaflex pipe 20mm. Diaflex pipe is the name, and 20mm is the size. To do this, you first need to list out your items. Add two columns to the right and name them accordingly. You do need to type the information on the first line, which gives Excel a basis going forward. Highlight the cells you want to fill in, hit Ctrl E and voila, a bit of Excel magic. Now this works with combining cells, retrieving data, adding text to cells, adding spaces, adding or removing brackets, and reordering information. Pivot tables. Not exactly a tip or a trick here, but a staple of a QS's Excel arsenal. Put simply, a pivot table summarizes your data. It empowers you to extract significant trends or findings from what is otherwise a totally overwhelming spreadsheet. And to make one is pretty straightforward. Highlight the entire data information, including the column headings, and press Insert and Pivot Table. Here, you can select if you want to insert the pivot table on a new worksheet or an existing worksheet. We'll click New Worksheet here. Then it's time to sort. Put the items you want to sort by in rows, and then the values in values. And that's a very simple explanation of pivots. We will go in depth into pivot tables in a future video, as there's so much you can do with them. Finally, I'm going to leave you with some quick Excel hacks. Alt equals speeds up your number crunching and totals everything in said column, also known as an autosum. Control, Shift, and 7 creates a cell border around the highlighted cells. Select all cells with just one click. All it takes is clicking on the light grey triangle that appears at the top left corner of your spreadsheet. Instantly resize columns and rows, place your mouse between the rows or columns until this symbol appears, and then double click. Format your numbers. Let's just say you want to change all these numbers into your currency. Press and hold, control, shift, and the number 4. To make highlighted cells bold, italic, or underlined, it's control 2, control 3, and control 4. Lastly, to highlight all information in your spreadsheet, press and hold, control, shift, right, and control, shift, down. Now, depending on the feedback we receive, we can turn this into a new series, or have this as just a one-off video. So if you'd like more tips and tricks, and we do have a lot more, please comment below and like this video. If we receive over 50 likes, we will continue this series. Matrone, a commercial hub to your business.